Well, this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Exciting moments now as Leafy and Professor are sitting in our chair this morning. We at Expresso love our fans, well, as much as they love us. And we always love it and we're thrilled when our viewers, you, share your videos and your pictures with us. Well, think again because the next one is really interesting. When Livia March sent to us an interesting video of one of her pets, we just had to, had to wonder for ourselves. There was plenty of surprise and smiles among the Espresso team when they received a cell phone video of a starling named Star who has an ability that amazes even her owner. I've got no idea where she got it from. But the one morning she was hopping around the cage saying, Espresso, mommy, Espresso. Telling a friend in the Nelspratt area about Star talking. And she says, Livia, why don't you contact Expresso, this fantastic morning breakfast show? And that's how the clip ended up with you. Espresso. Espresso. Hello, Bob. It's beautiful girl. Star, star. Give me a kiss. It was a couple of days before Christmas, uh, 18 months ago when this tiny little thing fell out of her nest at the place where I work. And this tiny little moving stone was sitting on my hand and I was not sure if it was going to live. Came home with it and put it in a little cage on a hot water bottle, forced a bit of food down its throat and just prayed she survived. And that was the start of the relationship with the starling. Absolute amazing little bird. I truly thought I was hearing voices because I called my husband and I said, is this bird talking? Hello, Espresso. Espresso. And he said to me, yes. And shortly afterwards, she was saying all the phrases that I was casually chatting to her. And that intrigued me and I started whistling the entry bars to Kleine Nachtmusik. And she copied that, one of her favorite tunes. I also have three parrots. I have a dwarf macaw, Mika, and I have a conier and a Senegal. Uh, and it's just the love of birds, the love of animals, but particularly birds. They normally looked at as vermin. People think that they're covered in lice and they mess up their roofs of their houses. And I think they should make their houses bird friendly and realize how absolutely awesome, intelligent these humble little birds are. And this clever little starling's big voice and expressive whistle has certainly managed to creep into our hearts. Say hello, Espresso. Espresso. Yes. This is actually freaking me out. It's so crazy. Well, here with this is Star's owner, Lethia March, as well as Professor Peter Ryan. Uh, he's the director of a whole lot of things, as well as an, is it an orintha, or, or, ornithologist? A, a bird, bird watcher. watcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, thanks for joining us. And Lethia, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Is this Star's first television debut? Absolutely, it's her debut. She speaks. She speaks. A lot of people don't believe uh, they, they still, I get told she, she's, a, she's a toy bird. She's Did not a toy bird, she's real, she's your kid. Not, really. How long have you had her? Since 1914, 1914, 2014. Okay. A couple of days before Christmas, I was handed this little tiny featherless little thing. And that's when our relationship started. How did you know she can talk? I didn't know. It was a little bit of a surprise for me. When, when she was hopping around in, in the cage, going, come, come. And I thought I was hearing voices. Oh, bless. <laughs> so I asked hubby, confirm, she's speaking English. I, I, was, I soon want to hear because the, the, the starling actually says expresso. So, Professor, just to, I mean, you've just heard the birds speak. Is this normal for a starling to mimic? I mean, do they have larynx? Like... Um, so birds are really cool. Songbirds have got... They've got two voice boxes side by side, so mm -hmm. they can actually make two different 
noises at the same time. They're incredibly versatile. And um, starlings are really well known for doing this. They mimic all sorts of sounds. So in nature, they would learn to copy their parents, but because Lifia was their, the Parent, mother, yes. yeah, she, she taught this bird to speak English. So it's actually quite common. Miners do it and lots of starlings do it. As an ornithologist, uh, other birds mimic too. Which other birds can do the same? Um, lots of birds can do it. Um, parrots are really well known for doing it, but, uh, and then quite a variety of songbirds. Drongos do it. Crows are very renowned mimics as well. Crows? So, yeah, crows can make amazing, amazing pets. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> okay. This is so crazy. So we, we're speaking to, to Liv here this morning. Her, her song's bird star is just absolutely amazing. Does the bird watch Expresso every morning? No, she doesn't. I don't know where she got this from, but she's the reason I'm here. Oh, because bless. I was told, Mommy Expresso, Mommy. Where she got it from, I really can't say. What else can she say? Uh, the, uh, all the little phrases when I clean her cage that I used to say to her, Mommy loves star, you're so clever. Uh, Mommy's beautiful girl. So uh, she repeats them all. Sort of converses, she, she picks the, the words that she wants to use. Well, Leafia, you're a great mommy, a bird mommy. <laughs> We, we wish you and Star only the best. Professor, thanks for joining us this morning. You should just call yourself a bird watcher. It's so much easier to say than all the other big words. <laughs> Professor Peter in our studio as well. Oh, birds that can say expresso. You should send us your videos and pictures too. We'd love to hear from you. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Loads more coming up.